Marvel's Avengers is an interesting game. I, I don't know if it's going to be called Marvel's Avengers or if it's going to be called something else. We'll just call it Marvel's Avengers. It's an interesting game because the first gameplay that I saw of it, I didn't really like it that much. I was like, this kind of looks... It, it, it looks average, to be honest with you. But then as I started to hear more things revealed about the story and about the gameplay and about the customization and some of the level design and actually seeing the vision of the developer i was like okay you know i think i should talk about this game and give it a shot and i looked at the marvel's round table and i was like okay you know i want to make a video about this talking about the story talking about the gameplay and talking about some of the hero dynamics for the new marvel avengers game With the story, I was kind of surprised at how thought out it was. They understand not only what the Avengers represent in the movies and in the comic books, but also kind of how the perception of the Avengers is in real life. Like a lot of people are like, oh yeah, the Avengers, they're heroes. They are they never do anything wrong and things of that nature. And then you get to this game where, you know, a, a horrible and tragic event happens in San Francisco. And the Avengers are kind of at the forefront of that responsibility and the Avengers have to go into hiding and apparently Captain America dies and you know an aim takes over and aim promises not to make the exact same mistakes of the Avengers so now the Avengers are kind of the rebels they're kind of the resistance and aim is is now kind of the new order the new uh, sheriff in town and then on top of that you have I think the CEO of aim apparently being Modoc. I think that's how you say his name. He, here's like the images and the pictures that they showed of him in the game. And it just seems like they understand, okay, this is all of the stories that people are telling in movies and in TV shows and in the comic books. And this is what we want to tell with our video game. It's It kind of does remind me a little bit of Spider-Man PS4, where they were very, very aware of the origin story of Spider-Man, where everybody knows the origin story of Spider-Man. You don't need to, like, I don't need to go into detail about it. But they understood, okay, like, what do we want to do with the game? What do we want to do with this character? What do we want to do with these other characters as well within the game and some of the lore within the comic books and how they had all of these different facilities and areas and levels that were specifically focused on material within the comic book and then you translate that same philosophy to Marvel's Avengers and you have the same execution but with the story not necessarily being you know some movie or some TV show or whatever but it kind of being more comic booky where it's just another event and the Avengers and the other characters they have to deal with this event within the universe it looks and sounds really really interesting and I'm, I'm really, really interested to see what the story has to offer within the game because they seem like they have that the right vision and it seems like they're on the right track with this game narrative-wise. The reason why I didn't like the gameplay originally and I saw the, you know, the, the A-Day, the day where everything goes horribly wrong for the Avengers. I saw that, I think, in 2019 or 2018. I saw that gameplay for it, and I was like, I don't really like that that much. It seems kind of gimmicky. It doesn't seem flushed out. And then, fast forward a year later, the gameplay is very, very flushed out. There's a lot of different combinations and combos with certain characters that you can execute by themselves or you can combine up with multiple different people and have them have combos with them. You can also have deep customization, not only visually and cosmetically, but also performance wise. You can upgrade different character stats and change the way that they function and things of that nature. But more importantly, also like their combos as well, which is weird to me but also very, very interesting. For instance, you have Thor being able to, and they reference this within the Marvel's round table, they reference that Thor essentially has the Thor, the goddess of thunder, 
power where he's able to throw his hammer and he's able to target like precise targeting i think that's what it's called or something like that where he's able to target multiple p different people with his hammer and it's exactly like the uh, the panels within the comic book with thor the goddess of thunder it's exactly like that and then they show off other characters having different abilities and upgrades and costumes and armor sets that are from the comic books that you can use to customize different characters. But then, you know, like customization doesn't really matter that much when it comes to gameplay. But it's the different combos and the different team ups that you can have. They have abilities like ultimates and things of that nature. Like Thor can summon the Bifrost and he can also have a buff with his teammates where he can make his teammates invulnerable for a specific amount of time. But it all seems really, really interesting to me when it comes to all of these different characters and the uh, the different types of combos and abilities that you can have with these characters. It just seems like the gameplay is more flushed out and better executed this time around than when I saw it last time around. The final thing that I'll talk about here today are the big superhero moments within the game. There's some superhero games that have you play as a superhero but don't really have you doing superhero things, or more specifically things that are specific to the superhero that you're playing as. Like Superman, you would essentially like pick up a pick up a freaking building or fly into a building and save a bunch of people in that building. In Spider-Man PS4, Spider-Man PS4 is a great example of playing as Spider-Man in that game. You web up a crane as you're chasing a helicopter throughout New York City. Like that looks and feels like something that Spider-Man would do on a daily basis. And you have similar events and things of that nature within this game where the helicarrier, it's losing its engines, it's losing power over the city, over the island of Manhattan. And obviously, it would not necessarily be the best thing if a giant freaking helicarrier smashed right into Manhattan. So the Avengers, of course, they have to save Manhattan and they save the day once again by Thor powering up the helicarrier engines and you just slightly just nudge past Manhattan and it's it's a great scene and it's very very reminiscent of what the Avengers would do in the comic books and the movies and the TV shows and now in a video game it's very very similar and it's very very reminiscent of the game and they also have these other moments with the characters narrative wise and combo wise like everything ties into the fact that you're playing as superheroes you're flying around you're running around and you're supposed to be the good guys you're supposed to be the guys that save you know the populace from the villains from impending doom from natural disasters and stuff like that like this phrase has been used ad nauseum when describing video games the game looks and feels like you're playing as these characters that you're playing as thor that you're playing as hulk and they really, really nailed down that vibe of playing and being superheroes within this universe. Will it be a great game or not? After all that positivity, like, after all of those positive things that I've said for the past couple of minutes, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how the game controls. I don't necessarily know how, you know, the game apparently, it, it wants to be constantly, it wants to be updated with certain characters and events and stuff like that. So I don't necessarily know how the game is going to translate later on when it comes to the story, the combat, the narrative. I don't know, but so far what I've seen is really, really good. I like what I've seen. I don't really see a whole lot wrong here with the game. Maybe besides that it could potentially be average, but I think that this could also be a good game if it does the if it does a whole lot of things right. And I think that it has done a whole lot of things right when it comes to the story, the narrative, and the concept of you playing as a superhero. This has been 24. Remember to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more. Until my next video, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.